the levels of living that there are. And I like to describe it as life is like this three lane highway. Now, there might be people watching this God shot that are like three lanes in a highway because maybe you live in a part of the country or the world where you got one or two lanes. But here where I live in New York City, I mean, there's so many highways, I got three lanes. And I like to use this imagery uh, to understand the ways that we can go about life. Okay, so life is this three lane highway and the slow lane. When you really are out there driving, the slow lane is for people who are just getting on so they can build up speed or they're just getting off so they're reducing speed. So it's the slow lane, okay? Uh, sometimes a, a very new, cautious, or old driver will just stay in a slow lane. They think it's safer there. And they're not really going anywhere very quickly, okay? Uh, that's the lane of life where you're really not running much. Okay, it's almost a state of like life is running you. Okay, you're not moving very quickly, very well. Um, other people are controlling you. You feel like you're the victim of life. You are, life is happening to you. Okay, slow lane. Middle lane is where people move a little faster. Okay, people moving along. And that is like the level of consciousness, the level of living where you're running your show. You're taking care of your business. Okay, you are flowing, you're making your life go the way you want. You're moving, you're taking care of yourself. Boom. Okay, uh, many people, that's as far as it gets for them, but there's a fast lane. Okay, the fast lane, the third lane, is the God lane. That's the lane where you are motivated and driven by and guided by the Holy Spirit. And that is a whole different and a more amazing level of living life, that lane. Not necessarily faster, okay, as in the real world where that, that's where the people are moving faster, but in a, a certain respect, I use that analogy because you're flowing more, okay, and you're seeing a bigger picture, and your life is moving in a godly way, okay? So I invite you to take a look at which lane are you spending most of your time with? Do you feel like a victim? Do you just live your life for yourself, or are you and God flowing together? in a way in which your baggage is not holding you back and you're moving, okay? Now, being human, we bounce. Just as any driver is moving from one lane to the other, you're not always in one. We, we spend a little bit of time in each of those lanes, but what you want to do is be moving in a way where you're, you're more flowing in that godly lane, that fast lane. I would actually say that here in New York City, we have a, a fourth lane called the HOV lane, where you're really exempt from the rules there and you can just you just move in. It only operates at certain times and you have to have more than one person in there. I think that there's a fourth lane too. You can't be in the HOV lane during certain hours unless you got somebody in the car with you. And that's when you're traveling with the angels and the saints. Okay? That that's where you're really, really moving. Uh in in the most full way. With God's Holy Spirit guiding you. That's the fast lane. But also when you feel like you've got the people of God on earth and in heaven moving with you. So take a look at all that. How you, uh, you know, how much you live in each lane and are you committed to moving in a fast lane as much as possible? Okay. God bless you.